Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. And today we're gonna wrap up the final, the third segment of our ball python genes for dummies um, videos. And today we're gonna talk about allelic combos or complexes. Um, basically what that is, is it's two genes, you put them together and they sort of act like a super form, um, but they're actually two different genes. So we'll go over that in this video. Um, try to make it as simple as possible. <clears throat> this is Princess, my pastel mystic potion, which is a mystic in Mojave, and she is uh, an allelic combo, part of the Blue Eye Lucy complex. So uh, let's break it down and try to make it as simple as possible for you guys so it's very easy to understand. So let's dive in and take a look, and please remember to like and subscribe. All right, so what exactly is an allelic combo or a complex? Um, it, it's complex if you're talking about it genetic-wise, if you're talking about it scientifically, but it's kind of simple um, if you're just talking about it in terms of what does it mean to you at the end of the day. And that is basically it's two genes that, uh, when combined, have a specific outcome that kind of acts like a super. Um, so, for instance, this girl here, um, she's in the Blue Eye Lucy complex, which is Mojave, Russo, Lesser, Butter, Mystic, Phantom, so on, and Bamboo, and you know whatever other genes are in there. Um, when you combine any two of those genes, you get a Blue Eye Lucy, which is the Blue Eye Lucy complex. Those are all allelic combos. Um, so this girl here, you know, she's mystic and mojave so basically um, she's two genes and that combo acts like a super form meaning if she's bred to any other male she is guaranteed to pass on either mystic or mojave to all of her offspring um so you know i have shredder my super mojave male he's a super mojave meaning he has two copies of mojave he's guaranteed to pass on one copy of the mojave gene to all his babies because she is also in the Blue Eye Lucy complex, her uh, combo of Mystic and Mojave acts like a super, um, which is the other way to kind of say, you know, what complex they're in or, um, you know, uh, allelic combo. Um, she, her two genes act like super. Um, so if you take anything else in the Blue Eye Lucy family, for instance, Let's say you have a Mojave or Lesser, Blue Eye Lucy. That snake is going to pass on either Mojave or Lesser to all of its babies. If you have a Purple Passion, which is a Phantom Mojave, it's going to pass on either Phantom or Mojave to all of its offspring. Um, and I'm going to show you some other snakes here from other complexes. I have some stuff from the Yellow Belly Complex. Um, I think I have... I have one or two I can show you from the eight ball complex as well. Um, and there's like, I think four or five complexes and I'll, I'll put a link down below. I found a good, um, a good post thread from Morph Market where everybody's kind of compiling all of these um, allelic combos together so everybody knows what they are because sometimes they're not expected or sometimes you wouldn't know about it. Most people, I would think, know about the Blue Eye Lucy's. They maybe don't know all of the Blue Eye Lucy's but they know um, what they are and I'm assuming at some point you know most people are starting to understand about the yellow belly complex too with the freeways and the highways and the super stripes um, so this girl here um, who happens to be my biggest snake um, the biggest ball python she is a, an allelic combo um, she her genes act like a super so basically um, she's gonna pass on either Mystic or Mojave to every single one of her offspring. And just to show you the variety in the uh, different complexes, when you have uh, you know, the allelic combos, she is also a Blue Eye Lucy. Um, and this is more the typical Blue Eye Lucy that mo most people go for. Um, she's a Mojave Lesser. So that combo also acts like a super. Every single one of her babies is either gonna have Mojave or Lesser in it. It just so happens that when you combine Mojave and Lesser, you get an all-white snake with blue eyes, whereas the Mystic Potion 
Um, she has more of like a purple color and still has some pattern to her. Um, this girl is completely patternless, has bright blue eyes, and she, as she got older, she started to get sort of a, some yellow markings on her head. Um, and like a faint yellow line that goes down her back. And I've seen that with Mojave Lessers typically. Um, this little, I don't know if you can see it, the little yellow line that goes down the middle of their back. Um, I had a couple baby Mojave Lessers last year and they developed that too. So that's probably a trait of those two genes since I've seen a couple of them. But, um, you know, when you're working in these complexes and you mix any two of these genes together, you're going to get very different outcomes in some of the gene combos. And, you know, this is a very good example of that. You know, this snake is all white, whereas Princess is very purple um, and still has a lot of pattern uh, going throughout her whole body. All right, uh, next up is the yellow belly complex. I call it the yellow belly complex. They have it listed as the super stripe complex on, um, on Morph Market. Um, but most of the stuff I see is usually mixed with yellow belly. Um, that's how you get a super stripe too. So that's what I call it. Um, and that is your uh, highways, your freeways, your pavements, your super stripes. <clears throat> and these two, um, he's a highway, which is a gravel yellow belly. And she's a freeway, which is a uh, yellow belly asphalt combo. Now, um, again, because these act like supers, if he's having a baby, it's always passing on yellow belly or gravel. If she's having babies, it's gonna pass on yellow belly or asphalt. Um, now, whereas with the Blue Eye Lucy complex, you can tell the difference between all the genes. They're like when they're in single gene, gene form. These guys aren't as easy. Um, it's near impossible to tell yellow belly apart from asphalt, apart from gravel when they're in like the single gene form. And so you'll see on Morph Market, um, people list them when they're single gene as um, yellow belly slash gravel or yellow belly slash asphalt because there's really sometimes no way to tell what gene they are unless you breed them out. Um, so with these guys, I typically only like to kind of purchase them if they're in the highway or freeway form so I know what I'm getting out of it. Um, now, the one caveat with this complex is also that they, if you get a super yellow belly, uh, which is also called an ivory, it's a black eye Lucy, it's an all white snake with black eyes. And you can't see any of this pattern in them if you happen to get an ivory. Um, you know, so if I bred these two together, um, there is a chance to get ivories out of this combo, meaning all this beautiful, wonderful pattern and color would be completely gone. Um, but it just kind of shows you the main difference, a huge difference in, in what actually comes out in their genes. Now, you can sort of see some similarity in their pattern. Um, most of the snakes in this complex exhibit like a similar pattern, but it's not as easily visible sometimes. Um, you know, she's NG Pastel Freeway He's uh, Leopard Phantom Pastel Highway. So they have different genes in it except for Pastel. Looks like they're kissing. They just missed Valentine's Day. Um, and sometimes they're kind of hard to tell apart. Um, you know, the freeway from the, from the highway. But the, the genes also act differently, um, you know, when you mix them all in together. So, it, you know, there's a, still a lot of experimentation going on with this complex. Um, especially now that they're starting to add more genes in, like there aren't very many of the Leopard Phantom Pastel Highways around, um, you know, and once they start breeding that across and getting them in freeways and, and you know, they'll start becoming more available, but right now they're still pretty rare. Now the, the Enchi Freeway is also called a Mardi Gras, um, and she has Pastel on top of that. They're a little more common. You can see these guys around a little bit. Um, but there's obviously, again, you know, a huge difference in the pattern and color, and these guys are both in the yellow belly complex. And, um, with the ivory, if you get a super yellow belly, most of the snakes are all white. You can't see any pattern, but there is one snake, um, or one gene that kind of breaks through it, and that is leopard. 
And this guy here, who is my ivory leopard male, who has been a fantastic breeder this year, um, I don't know if you'll pick it up on camera, but he still has some faint pattern underneath that white. And leopard is really one of the only genes that kind of breaks through the ivory, um, which is why, I don't know if you're gonna see that, but they have very similar patterns. He's a leopard highway, he's a leopard ivory. You can see the pattern, it's very similar um, you know, underneath all that white to what this guy has here that's more visible. So, you know, leopard really is the gene that you kind of want to work with in the yellow belly complex, I think, when you want to mix it in there. Um, because it has the best chance of breaking through and creating, like, just a, a fantastic pattern. Um, so that is it for the yellow belly complex. So again, it's an allelic combo when you mix yellow belly with gravel or asphalt and you get your highways and your freeways and they really do make some awesome looking snakes he's like really deep in the shed now and he still has like beautiful beautiful colors and pattern and another uh complex that i have in my collection is the eight ball um, which is black pastel cinnamon uh red exanthic and i didn't know this um and i'm looking at the list for morph market but and she's included in that as well um I definitely want to double check that because I've never heard of Enchi being a Lelic with uh, black pastel or cinnamon. Um, I'm going to research that more, but if that's true, that's kind of neat. So I'm going to have to look into that as well. Um, <clears throat> but this complex, uh, you're really getting the dark snakes. Um, typically, when you mix like black pastel and cinnamon together, uh, I believe that is the eight ball. It's a pretty much all black snake. Um, and these snakes are really like when you mix them together any two of the genes where you're starting to get the really really dark stuff you know whereas you mix a mojave and lesser together and you're getting all white you mix a black pastel and cinnamon together and you're getting all black um same thing if you get a super cinnamon or super black pastel um now this guy is a um mojave black pastel ghi um so he's actually not like a straight up eight ball, um, or he doesn't even have two of the eight ball genes, but GHI is another one of the darker genes. So as you can see, he sort of gets like the darker uh, patternless coloration to him. Um, and he has, if I can get him up here, jet black eyes. Um, I actually don't think I have, I have one female who is, She's a super cinnamon though, so she's not a Lelic, but she's super, um, she's a silver bullet actually. She is a super cinnamon pastel, um, so she's in the complex as well. Um, super cinnamon is typically all black, but when you add pastel into it, she has like these little kind of pixelations. Actually, her name's Oreo, because she kind of looks like an Oreo. Um, but she is, her, her coloration is like super dark chocolatey brown to a black color. Um, and as you can see here, they're kind of similar in tones. She's just darker. Um, but so she's actually in the complex. She has one of the genes in the complex anyways. And again, she has jet black eyes if you can see them there. She's very inquisitive. This girl here has the um, award for being the only snake the only ball python to have ever bitten me. <clears throat> it was probably earlier last year, probably about, I don't know, eight, 10 months ago. And she uh, she latched onto the side of my hand and curled up on me. So I'm assuming she probably thought I smelled like food. Um, but she's the only snake, the only ball python that ever bit me. And she latched on and curled up. So it wasn't even a defensive bite. It was more of a, a food bite. <clears throat> so, that's the, the dark genes. Um, again, the eight ball complex, the cinnamon, black pastel, het red, exam, het red exanthic, and apparently enchi as well. So if you mix any two of those genes together, <clears throat> they are gonna be guaranteed. Let's say you take a cinnamon black pastel. If you have a cinnamon black pastel snake, it's guaranteed to pass on either cinnamon or black pastel to all of its offspring. All right, I want to show you one more Blue Eye Lucy as we wrap up the video here. Um, this girl is a special lesser GHI. Now, the GHI obviously doesn't show up much, 
but she looks very similar to Snow White Snake, who was Mojave Lesser. Um, and to be honest, looking at her special lesser, she has nothing but white on her body. Um, and she has those bright blue eyes, typical eyes in the Blue Eyed Lucy's combo. So <clears throat> this is actually whiter than the Mojave Lesser. So if you were looking for, uh, you know, a pure all white snake with blue eyes, special lesser is the way to go. Um, when you mix lesser with the other Bell Complex genes, Typically, they only make all white snakes the way that gene works with other stuff. Um, but special looks like it really just makes like the whitest of white. So again, um, when you're working in these complexes, whether it's the yellow belly slash super stripe complex, the blue eye Lucy complex, the eight ball complex, any two of the genes that are mixed together will make an allelic combo or an axe like super combo where those two genes in the snake are guaranteed to pass on one to all of their offspring. Um, so this girl, she's a special lesser. Every single one of her babies will carry either the special or lesser gene, um, you know, when they hatch. And it's a great way to breed. Um, it guarantees you some sort of genes. And in all honesty, I have, um, a Super Butter, a Mojave Lesser, a Super Phantom, a Special Lesser, a Mystic Potion, and Crystal, which is a, uh, what is she? She's a Special Mojave, I believe. Um, those are all in the Blue Eye Lucy complex, and they're all super. They're either supers or they are Alila combos, which act like supers and they're being bred to a Super Mojave male or my Purple Passion male, which is either a Super or an uh, Axe Like Super, uh, Alila Combo. <clears throat> what that means is I have six females that I'm breeding this year in the Blue Eye Lucy Complex, and they're only being bred to Blue Eye Lucy's, which means I have six females that are only going to have Blue Eye Lucy babies. Now, they're not gonna be all white. Um, some of them will be. Um, I bet you half, they'll be half and half, like half the babies will be all white and half of them will be patterned like Mystic Potions or Purple Passions. Um, but that guarantees me as a breeder to get all Blue Eye Lucy's, which for one thing is a higher ticket item, <clears throat> but it also makes a more intriguing looking snake. Um, you know, and it doesn't give me any single gene snakes. You know, it takes the price tag on some of these snakes from $100 up to $500 and I'm guaranteed that with every single baby. And then on top of that, when you guys see these babies on Morph Market in a couple months, um, they're also gonna pass on one of those two genes to all of their offspring as well. So it is a fantastic way um, to, to breed, um, and you can still mix other genes into it. Um, so she has GHI, and so most likely when I bought her, when she was originally um, born, both of her parents, one of them had to be super GHI. And so that's the only way you know she has GHI because she's all white. But you can still mix in other codominant and recessive traits into these snakes. So just because she has two genes and they act like a super, you can still mix in pastel, enchi, um, yellow belly, anything else can still be mixed into this snake. Now they're not guaranteed to pass those genes on, um, <clears throat> but it can still be mixed in there. So that's the really cool thing about, you know, getting these allele combos and, um, you know, uh, you know, breeding them. Now, the one caveat with that is you can't add any more Blue Eye Lucy genes into her. She has two Blue Eye Lucy genes and that's it. She can't be Mojave Lesser and, um, special it's not possible so when you're working with these complexes you get two, two genes max and you can't get any more from that complex in there um, but they're guaranteed to pass on one of those genes to all their babies but you can add in a infinite amount of other codominant or recessive genes and make some fantastic awesome cool looking snakes so that's all we have for today Hopefully I broke that down really well for you and really easy, easy to understand. Um, really, 
when I do, um, you know, the Blue Lucy's or the freeways, highways from the Yellow Belly Complex, I just treat them like they're supers. Um, except instead of one gene, instead of it being a super Mojave and it always passing on Mojave to the babies, it's a Mojave lesser and it always passes on either Mojave or lesser to the babies. But that way you're still guaranteed that it's passing on a gene to all of its babies. So hopefully that helps you guys out uh, to kind of understand the Leela combos. They make some crazy different patterns in snakes. So I would definitely look into it and understand which snakes fall under which complexes. Um, because some of them, as you can see, you know, you go from an all white snake in the Blue Lucy complex to a purple snake in the Blue Lucy complex. And they look nothing alike. Um, and you can have uh, a pairing in the Blue Lucy complex where they make both types of babies. So you definitely want to know what you're getting into and what you're breeding and what the offspring do. Um, and again, look at the morph market calculator and calculate all that out. Um, I, I actually have a video series coming out next week that's going to show you how to use morph market and it shows you how to use the calculator in detail. Um, but definitely do that when you're thinking about, uh, you know, breeding so that you know what you're going to get from the snakes you purchase. So that's all we have for today. Um, I'm going to get this girl back in there. She really is all white. She's beautiful, beautiful eyes too. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. And again, please remember to like and subscribe. See ya.